Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is the next edition of the Royal Take, as I am wishing you a good day, as it is a new day, as we recover from that 9-1 to one loss last night at the hands of the Trois-Rivières Lions, and try to come in and rebound and respond, and just be able to get, at this point, a 1-2 to two of the total of six points against the Lions, where who have been a good competitive team this year, don't get me wrong, but where coming into this series, I believe you expected to get a few more points against a team like the Trois-Rivières uh, Lions, who, when it comes to the league standings, are moving themselves up. Reading now moves down to 10th. They were at 9th when I did the podcast ahead of the Orlando Solar Bears, who are now ahead of them when I did the podcast with Yarif Rolick on Flyers Nitty Gritty, that's going to be linked at the end of the video of this channel, if you want to check that out for great Phantoms, Royals, and Flyers coverage. But, now the Trois Revere Lions have six wins, moving up to six and seven with nothing in terms of the uh, shootout or OT column for them. So they've been an in-regulation team, they figure it out one way or another in regulation, they're either going to lose that game or they're going to win the damn game in regulation, and that's been entirely what they have done in the first two of this series, and that is something the Royals, like I said yesterday, uh, you have to try to come out and be able to pounce on this team with the way that they played them. They beat them 5-1, they beat them 9-1. It is obvious who the momentum is in and is for in this game, where when you have Neil's score, you have uh, Cedric's score, because I'm terrible at pronouncing his last name, so we're not even going to try um, when it comes to their second goal scorer for Trois Rivieres, last French name, and then they got Nella scored again, and then, like, these are all the guys we talked about to watch in the beginning of the game, um, Kazuma Dunov was able to get one, I mean, you had four goals, five goals, six goals, once Peter Abadonato scored and Alexis Yaust Score that we didn't score it until Grant Cooper scored to make it 6 1. When you sucked and lost 5 1 the night before, obviously you need to have more spunk in your skates the next day. Oh, uh, the next game, excuse me, not the next day, but the next game. And the Royals did not have that, they did not respond. Where today it actually is the next day, and you got to really respond and really be able to answer. This is like baseball series now at this point, where it's like just salvage the series and be able to walk away with some points. Well, I believe, and that is exactly where the Royals are now, they have to believe that they can come in, get the first goal, get some pressure, get some pounce on Trois Revere like they have the last two damn games, and then push and grow and build from that because they haven't defended. You can't really, in these first two games, yes, there's been some stops that I guess um, the netminders could have been more squeaky clean on, but you can't really blame... Um, either goaltenders in these first two games, because they've just been terribly defended. That Hawkey, yeah, he only had a 78.94 whatever and a 76.19 for Kirill because they both had to play in this putrid of a bad performance last night. You're going to need to respond from that and play better in front of your goaltender. Obviously, we did lose Patty Nag, who's been up with the Phantoms. They now have John Gillies, too, so they got more stability. And that maybe Nagel will eventually be back down playing some more ample amount of games really helping out the Reading Royals again, but we don't know that. You need to figure it out without him, and you need to play much better without him in front of the team and not have to rely solely and kind of hang your goaltender out to dry. Now, at the same time, I've said this in multiple videos, I'm somebody that likes to remain on the believe side until there's really no way to do it anymore. This team is still in a good spot. They're still top 10 in a league of 27. If you start winning again these next couple games against trois Rivière. What we have, and then we go on to play Newfoundland. If you start winning, it's not going to be easy. But if we start winning these next couple games, today, Wednesday, next Friday, and next Saturday, take, say, two out of four, three out of four. Reading's right back in a two out of four solid spot. Three out of four, a really good spot in the standing. So it's all about hockey's just a back and forth, up and down sport. Jason Martinez talked about how quick things can change in hockey. Will it? Um, who knows, but that's what it's been for the Royals. The Royals have been going really good, haven't had 
back-to-back bad games. Yes, they have had bad games with very bad moments, like Kirk McDonald's talked about through the process of the game, like a really bad dude who's six to seven minutes that caused them to lose games like it did against the one game against Newfoundland. But they haven't been overall very bad in back-to-back tilts. And this was the first time that happened. So now let's see how the Royals this season with this roster respond from having back-to-back really off games. Um, also, back-to-back really off games away and not at their home stadium where they have our Royals crowd trying to fuel them to get that extra energy. They have the trois Rivier crowd up there in Quebec excited to have a team back really fueling them to get that extra energy. And obviously, their play on the ice combined <clears throat> with the Royals just not stepping up in the defensive zone, not stepping up in passing lanes and doing all that stuff we've seen earlier in the season um, against other teams, and even against trois Rivière earlier in the season as well, is the big point of why they lost. They just keep getting beat down early in the game in these last two games, <clears throat> and then there's just, excuse me, no response to it, where the lone goal in the last game was Jacob Pritchard, or not Jacob, but, uh, no, yeah, Jacob Pritchard. Yeah, I called him the right thing this time. I, I keep calling him Peyton Pritchard because I have the point guards um, from <laughs> basketball um, in my mind. But Jacob Pritchard, who was able to score, and then Grant Cooper, who of course has been up and down. He's been one of the carousel players between us and the Phantoms. Haven't really played up there, but he's been up and down a little bit. Just played more down here. He was able to get a goal. So in this game, got to tighten up the defense. Got to play a lot better in front of your goaltender. And you have to, in my opinion, with the way that Trois Riviere has their momentum going, score the first goal to get the momentum in your tide, and then to get just cruising in that direction. So this has been a reaction and preview to the Trois Riviere Lions game today that is starting in a half hour about at 3 p.m. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Royals.